but called journalist. And she is the doctor, but doesn't know. So is there any need to give mentorship, which is part of this, and give them certification so that those who want to learn the best, to be the best in the craft, they can do so under the initiatives that you in Bai are promoting and that uh, Sonia is working on? Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. Because as we are saying, you know, the, the idea of C2C is that it's not really going out looking for people because we all have people already in our in our list. Like with the looking at the idea, I don't know, I don't know, Sonia, do you know how the C2C initiative started? No, I don't. How did it start? Okay. So it starts with Mr. Mawere saying he has over 20,000 uh, followers on, uh, on on LinkedIn and he has another, um, another over 20,000 on Facebook, another 20-something thousand on Twitter, mm-hmm. right? If not 50,000 on Twitter. And these are people that are already following him for whatever reason, right? Mm-hmm. And he, he doesn't need them or maybe... Most of them, they follow him. And if you look at his account, his accounts, especially on LinkedIn, it's not yeah. just you know, people like I, I'll call them without titles or without, you know, who are not doing anything. It's professionals who are looking for him or who are following whatever he says. But he's saying, you know, he himself is one person. He doesn't need this contact or he doesn't use them. But maybe somebody somewhere is in need of those contacts. So instead of keeping those contacts idle, he himself, one person, cannot use them or doesn't need them, but uh, they can benefit somebody. If we connect as, a, as, as people, mm-hmm. we can turn these contacts into communities and make them useful. Like now we are saying, you know, if we have people who are working together in this, in this, in this uh, C2C, as we have now, right? Mm-hmm. Some people who want to be journalists, then they can look. We can look at who, who do we have in our boat. Who is, who is good in that? And that means we are talking to you now. You are a prof. You are like a, 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 a tutor in your in your field. You are the specialist in your field. Why don't you then talk to people in this group now who want to be journalists? They learn from the best because they are there and you are there as a member, right? And then we do the same with all the others. We have doctors in, we have lawyers in. Instead of saying, okay, like I live in the UK now, I can tell you cases of so many people in diaspora who have been who have been smacked by by bogus lawyers in Zimbabwe or anywhere in Africa. Because C2C is like beyond beyond it was beyond our borders of one country. Right. Mm-hmm. So why don't we create a group of, of trusted lawyers in within our, our group, within, within our C2C, who will deal with such matters when lawyers are needed? Then people will know, like, if I talk to these guys, my problems will be sorted because they have a, a trusted representation. Right. We look at our business. There are so many people who are following Mr. Mawere from his old days as a, as a, as a, 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 in the mining sector. Right, they want to learn about mentorship. But now we are no longer just looking at Mr. Mawere be doing everything. But we are also talking to other people who are in the same field who are who have done great. Right. To say, you know what, you come in there, you want mentorship. We have so many people who are mentors in this field. We you want to do you know, like in, in the health sector, in the social sector, in business, you know, we have all these different people who are already doing something. We are no longer learning just from one person, but we have a pool of different people doing different things. Like we are saying now for mentorship, for mentors, we need like four or four hours in a year of their time to come in and talk to different people on the whatever topics they will be doing, right? And then for mentees, then we ask them to pay like um, six pounds. You know, we, we so we have the initial membership into C2C, which is 30 pounds or 500 pounds. Then those who want extra benefit from 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 coaching, we ask them to pay another six dollars uh, or hundred rand in a year to be part of that um, that membership. And then from there, we will be organizing the different people who are coming in to be show, to be showcasing what they are doing, like basically storytelling. 
and dealing with any issues or questions that will be arising. And then, like like Mr. Mawera was saying, we will organize uh, we will organize the, uh, the 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 tutorials for different fields that needs that needs for those who need certification for whatever they are doing. And then we'll get those people who have the, the certificates and the accreditation to teach those different fields and give the best of what is needed. Uh, but now, all those people that we have, but for us to start going, we, we, we have to like have um, this, you know, like what you say, like a group of people. It's the C2C as a, as a, as a, it's okay, you'll be fine. So mm -hmm. uh, um, we, 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 with us coming together, we are already creating that platform where people, there are people already, right? Mm -hmm. And but then with their 30, with their 30, 30 dollars a year, they are already showing their commitment to see to see as a program. And it's not only that, and those who sell services, like to say, you know, like I, I, I'm a journalist, I can write your stories for you. They can showcase that they can sell their services on our platform, on the C2C platform. That the same applies to everybody else who say, you know what, I'm a carer, I'm a, I'm a private tutor. They can sell their services. There's a platform where they can sell their services. And those who sell real products, we also have the email that will sell products for them. So, you know, we are looking to have like a city or a country with all different needs or necessary groups in all one place, one shop for everything. So that mm -hmm. is what we are talking about, about C2C as a starting point and then develop that into like different sectors, the mentorship being one of them. Okay. Yeah. Mr. Mawel, did I say it right? Yeah, no, yeah, you said it right. Uh, but for uh, for Sonia, who is involved in uh, admin for a company that provides courses, her interest would be where, where do I stand in all this? So, Sonia, if we discover that uh, there is a, a skills gap in terms of practitioners, and for now we're just talking about journalism, and we start a national conversation on what a journalist is and is mm. not. And I am a citizen like you. And I am angry that the media is not giving attention to the kind of stories that I think ought to be covered. And alone, I'm helpless. Alone, I may not learn. Then once we've identified the skills gap, then we find people who can administer the bridge between those who need the skills and those who have the skills. Mm -hmm. So in my data bank for LinkedIn alone, I got 30,000 people. Oh, and some of the 30,000 may be journalists who want to improve their craft. Mm. But if they work in a place and are employed, they tend to do what is necessary just to keep their jobs. They don't mm. do anything else. Some go to work with no idea of what story to cover. Mm. Some go Maybe. to work from networks where they are in WhatsApp groups where there's content that they can then take forward into the mainstream. But they don't know what is what. So most of the WhatsApp groups are then used to propagate ideas that you don't find anything uh, of interest. So sure. you are now isolated on your own as a journalist. You don't have anyone in your household who also understands what you are going through. So at work, they say you are not a performer. At home, they say you are the, the breadwinner. So you find that the personality you have of a reporter or a journalist, people think actually you know what you are do doing, but the people around you are not giving you any stories for you to be the best in your craft. So when you are in these groups, you are not even taking that just to practice writing. 
like when I when after this meeting, what is going to happen? Sonia may write something to to uh, to Mr. Bukutu to say, ah, I had an interesting conversation, and I can see my future in it. Some people just keep quiet; they don't report. Yes. They don't write anything. So admin is about make taking minutes learning and if you want the video or audio of what we've discussed then we give you you do your summary then it means people will come to you sonia even from home there are many people who are getting jobs who are getting phone calls because they're influencers but they know that they can't influence without <clears throat> getting into someone's wagon so somebody with five thousand facebook followers I will look at them as my hero. Imagine I got 200 followers on the, on the, on Facebook or friends. Um, and how many so, followers? No, I'm saying imagine there are two people, one with 200, uh, the other with 5,000. Uh, if we form a community, how many how many friends will we have? We'll have 5,200. Because the one with 5,000 may not need the one with 200. But the one with 200 needs the one with 5,000. Mm. So if I'm selling training courses, I would rather associate with someone with 5,000. Mm. That's... <laughs> No, I'm thinking of Facebook followers. I just recently deleted almost two thousand of them on my Facebook. <laughs> yeah, that's what uh, that's what uh, a, a blind person does. Because uh, Facebook was set up to solve a problem for people who are not privileged to have relatives in their family, and you can create a family by what you do and what you share. Well, some of them are not even about that. They're just spies. No, let. Uh, uh, would you worry if you are meat? Which which fly is a better one for you? <laughs> yeah, because some of them have teeth, and some will bite you and suck the blood out of you. No, but that's what they are meant to do. Just become the best meat. But but. You, <laughs> <laughs> just become the best in your craft. Don't worry about dogs barking. They'll bark anyway. So that's what we are training in this community to say if you have in by, don't worry about what other people are doing or not doing. Even if you get one person to follow you, it's enough. But say your mind, share what you have. You never know somebody in the in the five is more useful. But if I'm going to share in different platforms and I tap into other people's networks, it means instead of me being hit by one person, I'm hit by 20. And the digital age is that even the people who are not listening to you or watching you now, they can also have access just a link away. I can share it. I can send it to WhatsApp group. I can do many things. So whatever you have said, Sonia, doesn't die with you. <laughs> it remains, and I some people may you. be more. So that is the that is what we are saying. So for journalism, we can have your company with the courses get people who are interested in improving their craft, mm. in improving their critical analysis. Because there are many people who don't think. They just read and leave it. Even after they read, they do nothing. Mm. Yeah. So even if we set up a group, there are people who still come to you, Sonia, one by one. Imagine I got 1,000 people who come to me one by one. How am I going to manage them? So every time I come to you directly, I'm already giving, uh, penalizing you, punishing you for your freedom. And some people say you are smart. How, how many people are smart who don't have more than 24 hours in a day? We 
only have the same hours. Same hours. Mm -hmm. So if I know that, then I will also be aggressive to say, let's set up this community so that I don't have to have one person I rely upon to do something that I want to do. If I want to do something, I just do it. I don't have to ask for validation. Because why would somebody tell me what is good for me when I know I have a mind to tell on my own? Yeah? If I know I need training, I need to get a, a, a master's or doctorate, surely you must do it and work on it yourself. Amen. Huh? So how many people want, like now, Mr. Bukuru told me, talk to Sonia. And I said, I'll talk to Sonia because we need to have admin like you know. Just even the bookings, who is who, so that we don't continue to talk. There are many people who are hungry for knowledge, who want to be the best in this social media area. How do I tweet? What should I tweet? How do I get noticed? How many people are not even noticed in life? They live for 60 years, in 80 years. Nobody remembers them. You can't point them to anything that they've done. But they're doing their own way, in their own time. But they don't want anyone to know. But they die and nobody knows. Then you find when they're burying the tributes, the obituary, saying this, this was so and so, so and so. But it's too late to say thank you. Yeah. So if you have the courses like you have, let's take one, one course called journalism. Okay. You are accredited as a company to offer that course. But how many people come to you to get that knowledge? And how many of these fake people who undermine journalism by using it for something that is not meant for? Imagine there's an accident. And then you write about the accident and you have never been, you, <clears throat> you haven't seen it. Do you think it's fair? No, it's not. Yeah. There's a murder. Then I write a story about murder. And you were not there. I was not there. Somebody was killed. And in my mind, I thought the person was killed at the house, was shot. Uh -huh. But he was jogging. So yesterday when I was talking with somebody, we were talking about the same person, about the same death, but actually I had not gotten the full information because it was none of my, 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 my business. Yes. Yeah. Only to discover we're talking about the same person. So a glass can be half full. It can also be half empty. So that is the, the challenge I said to Mr. Bogutu. We can encourage people to do the courses because we see it every day. That people, you give them a story. Somebody says, Mawere, a Zimbabwean uh, businessman based in South Africa. So I said, why do you have to say Zimbabwean businessman? If the person is Italian, what are you going to say? Yeah? If it's an Indian who was born in South Africa, who is a South African citizen, then you say an Indian South African businessman. So aren't you proposing okay. apartheid? It's an Indian. Yeah. Becomes yeah, you know, just becomes a person, Mr. So and so. Yeah. Yeah. So the same guy who is Indian may have an English name. True. Yeah. Then you say B E E. Then I say I'm I'm Sipo Shabalala and I'm white. How are you going to tell that I'm white? I got the ID number, but my name is called Sibo for empowerment. Mm. Yeah? yeah. So what are you encouraging? Because nobody will pay something or read a story because it was written by a black person. No. If it's interesting, it's interesting. Mm. If the course is meaningful, it will be meaningful. 
but we are trying to assist your company so that these journalists can go to the doctor to learn how many people call themselves professors of journalism, but they, don't, they just copy and paste, read books, but they don't know the impact of bad journalism on human beings. You are defamed every day. People form an opinion of you because of what they have read about you. And some of these people who do that, it's like murdering you alive. They murder your character, but they don't even know that. Some people are called corrupt. When you say the biggest problem in my country is corruption, then they mention names, but they don't even know the people they're talking about. Yeah? And if you see that, uh, so, Sonia, wouldn't you be angry? That this, uh, these courses must be there, must be done yesterday. Because we see it every day. People don't talk to each other because of what is written by somebody else. A full human being. Spend his time, a time, talking about others, not about themselves. Just I woke up this morning. I was surprised. I saw a message come here and I responded to it. And you know what, Sonia? Mr. Bukut had given me another a wrong Sonia. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so with the conversation, he says, I don't know. I only know John. I don't know the guy you are talking to. What are you talking about? Only to discover, no, it was a wrong Sonia. Wrong Sonia. I wonder who else. <laughs> no, no, I'm just saying, you are not the only one who's called Sonia. But I'm just saying is, when you are sending, he could have been doing 20 other things. Yeah, true. And just say, Sonia, let me send. I do that often. Yeah. yeah. So it is possible that when we write stories about other people, sometimes we are not diligent. We are not careful. We are not putting ourselves in the shoes of the people we attack, we ridicule, we vilify. Mm. Yeah. So you can't say, Sonia, I stepped on your toe. Then we buy in England complains about it. Have you ever heard that? Yeah, it happens, especially on social media. I yeah. once saw a situation of two ladies who were fighting, and the whole crowd of them, their supporters or their followers, whatever they are called on Facebook, you know, with other people joining into the conversation, who are not even part of that conversation, to, to bully or insult the other one taking sides on the two people and it went on for months and i'm thinking what the hell are these people doing but it looks like it has become a, a modern day thing with social media which is one of those things the way you think like what are we doing or what am i doing yeah so that's it's what will bring about. that's what will bring sonia and we buy together to say is there not a cause for us to look beyond the boundaries that separate us mm. and uh, come up with a training program that will be certified. But before you become a professor, come on air, tell us what your thinking is about journalism. What is a journalist? Do you know, if I ask Mimbai now, what is a journalist to Mimbai? Let's hear what she will tell us. Sonia, you... What is a journalist to you? To me, a journalist is somebody who looks at what is happening and uh, gets the facts and reports about it. It can be just for the fun of it. I mean, so it first, it, like first, first, you are saying it's someone. Yes. And then you are saying that somebody is expected to do something. By who? No, that's what, like I'm saying, that's what, uh, not really expectation, but um, when they when, when they go out there and they find stories, they tell their stories depending on their, I think depending on their jobs or depending on their own interests as well, that if somebody is really into figures, 
then they can find out stories in the financial side. They will be okay. Will be let's make it easier to, to let, let's make it to yeah. you. what is a doctor to you? A doctor, yeah. If I get sick, I go to the hospital and then there is somebody who has been medically trained for that. But oh, so you are saying uh, for you to be a doctor, you must be trained. Yes, you train properly. Okay, but let's I say I have uh, I have cropped the certificate of someone who is dead, who was a doctor, and I it put happens. that. No, no, I'm just saying it, it happens. No, no, you are saying that. How would you know that? I'm trained when you are sick. You know, that's what I'm saying. Like when I, I just go to the, I just, you, okay, let me give you an example to answer you that. Mm -hmm. Here in the UK, in most of these days, uh, before we go to hospitals, we now go to medical centers, right? And the doctor I saw last time is not the next doctor I will see today. But do you understand my, uh, before you go, yes, for, do, what is my question? I do, I'm, I'm, what? What is my question? What is my question? When I'm sick, listen, when I'm sick and I walk in, there is no way of knowing who is who. Because that's not, that's, that's, not, that's, not, that's not my question. I, what was your question? What is a doctor? You're saying it must be someone who is medically trained. But if I can't yes. verify what is a doctor, then is there a, any person called a doctor? If I cannot verify. That's why I was, I, I was giving you no, the explanation. That's what I was trying to just to say, to make it. There is an expectation. There is an expectation that anybody who calls themselves a doctor has to have a, a certification for that and a proper training for that. But today, it has become difficult. No, I, I've not. Asked, I've not asked that. Uh, what is today? I just asked the idea of a doctor, and then uh, you can give yourself uh, a, the answer to the question, so that we move from there and we can have a conversation about what is a doctor. Then we ask Sonia to you, what is a doctor? All right. So for me, no, no. you have already answered. Trend. Okay. Uh, okay. So the first, the first thing is that one must be trained. We take. Okay. Can can a baboon be a doctor? It has to be a human being as well. Oh, so yeah. So so you have to be a human being first. Is that correct? Yes, you have to be a human being first. Okay. So if you have to be a human being first, then Sonia, do we agree that a doctor has to be a human being? Yes, I fully agree. Trained uh, human being. Okay. No, we we'll go to training. Uh, that is now artificial. Because I can't become a doctor if I belong to the monkey family. Of course not. Yeah, there's no lion that is a doctor. No, we've never seen one. There will never be one. <laughs> okay, so it must be a human being. The second, we now go to the artificial, the masks now. So I wear a mask. I've gone to school and I got the certificate genuinely. Then after getting the school, I start drinking beer at every uh, bottle store that is open. And uh, after one week, I become a drunkard. But I'm still got the certificate. Do you consider me to be a doctor or a threat to your health? You are a threat because now you are going against all the normal, the normal standards of pra practice. Or, well, okay, go ahead. You still have your certification. No one can say it's not taken away, and you've learned it. But the the, the uh, how do you call that? Uh, the practice side of things now is gone wrong. But who is there to call, to to to? Uh, what is required for me to be a doctor? Is it just the training? Or there must be a community of doctors who are also afraid of what a bad apple can do to all apples. 
that's why we have the medical board that actually that's has right so you need organization you need order and that's what Bimba was talking about that we need to have a community of both providers and patients so a good doctor will be marketed by patients a good teacher will be marketed by students word of mouth word of mouth <laughs> that's what a doctor or lawyer is but if there's no word of mouth, it's just my word that I trained. There are many people who call themselves doctors because they qualified. But after that, they learn nothing because they think they know everything. And if there's no body that keeps them alert, and when you are a bad doctor to me, I can go and complain and say, please, can you look at this person's papers? Because I have reason to believe whatever papers he's got does not conduct himself as a, as a doctor. Is that correct? Mm. So that's what we are trying to do for journalists with Mr. Bokutu. Okay. To say, let Sonia be part of this conversation. Let Sonia meet Mimbai. Let Sonia meet other people to say, is there a problem of understanding what a journalist is or not? Because there are many people who are not journalists, who are not bound by those rules, but who can write good English. Mm. But if they take good, the fake facts and put them into good English, everybody believes them. Then we'll call them fake news. Fake news, but because it's written by someone who is respected, he's already killing the profession of journalism. Mm -hmm. mm? Without knowing. And imagine your, your own children want careers. You say you must be a journalist. But there are other people who are already in that... A, a profession without qualifying for it, without being bound by any standards, without being accountable to anyone. Are you safe? True. Huh? There's no, safe. there's no, but we're safe. They can choose who to target in the name of journalism. And they are not accountable. You can't take them to any body. And they are reckless with other people's careers. It's professions. Imagine I come and say I'm a doctor and I look at you and say you're suffering from cancer. When you are suffering from what? From a kidney. Yeah. So that's what the community is there. So we have to think about it and then say, those who are willing to come, come and talk to Sonia. So you put your name as a person who is interested in the profession and you guard your profession so that Mawere can't keep on talking about journalism. He's not a journalist. But when I'm talking about journalists here, I'm talking about a, as a victim of some of these guys. Mm. Yeah? So I am entitled to talk about what I see and what I hear. Mm. Yeah. And then I can then be able to say, Sonia, we have 10 people, 20 people who are interested in being the best in the profession. Just tell it as it is. Just have the facts. So if I'm going to write this uh, conversation today, so yeah, and we buy, where do I start? Yeah. Huh? If we were to 
as in you asking if we were to want to market this this course. Where do we start? Yeah, where do we start? I guess advertising. What are you advertising? Come, come, like a doctor advertising. No, we tell you what we did. It starts with the, with the, with the, power, with the power of connections. I don't, like you said, you know, like you were talking to somebody else and you were given Sonia's name. And the two of us are already in C2C. And I, and I came to you this morning saying, what's the program for the day? Yeah, but isn't the, the mere fact that you are asking me for a program, it's itself... Yes, we have a program, no? Yeah? No, no, I'm saying... Now we have, it? No, it no, is I'm, saying is, I'm, I'm saying is when you want to learn that next time I don't ask... I've learned something today. Yes, sir. That I don't have to ask somebody what is going to happen that has not happened. Because I'm already putting myself in someone's lane. Mm. When I got my own lane, if you are troubled by the quality of standards of journalism, you must show up for that. Sonia must show up for that. You can't say, come and be cured. What about if the person says, I'm the best doctor? You say, come for refresher course. What for? You come for a refresher course, um, because probably like whatever that you learned at college or city has um, expired a bit. No, no. Uh, but if there's no need for professional standards, I will not need to because I'm qualified already. I'm certified for life. Yeah, why would I need to go and learn? So that's where Mbai will say, today I learned something. I have never understood we are in a community that we created, even if there are two people. Let me go there and say, I was thinking, I'm going to do something. Those who are interested will come. Those who are not interested will not come. But I want to provoke the human side that there is a problem. What is the problem? That journalism has gone to the dogs. Mm. And we are fed with nonsense. And there are no standards. Nobody stands up to say, no, this is the enough is enough. Not in my name. I am a journalist. I trained. But you can't go around and say you are a journalist. And you are not. Mm. Mm, it's true. And like any other thing in life, you know, like we all evolve, you know. And with journalism, it hasn't evolved in a positive way. It, in, it, instead, it's really been really really negative but sonia you are admin of a training provider you can't stop there to say that's why we set up a clinic when you are sick and you know you are sick please come and get treatment so that you can go to the world as a journalist jealously guarding your profession mm. yeah so that's adver advertisement sonia yeah. There are many people who are giving fake certificates. Mm. It's imagine being given a driver's license and you can't drive. You are a menace to other motorists. Oh. So that's the that's the essence of what we wanted to uh, talk. So I thought bringing him by just to reflect so that we can be slow and go step by step until we understand what is marketing, what is not marketing. How do we convince the people to want to go to hospital and they are not sick? Or they don't believe they are sick. Imagine a doctor inviting you to come to the surgery and you are not sick. Would that not be funny? It would be, unless he tells me that um, to live a hundred years, that's what I need to do. Daily check up, then I'll let but, me go for it. But Sonia, you still have to make your decision. I can't invite you. I can't invite mm -hmm. you to church, a pastor calling in the morning, hundred mm -hmm. congregants. 
What time are you arriving? What time are you arriving? If the church service is 10 to 11, that's it. You're right. It, it, it needs to come from the heart. I need to want to go there. That's right. That's a choice. That's a human spirit. Mm. Yeah, you can't do it for somebody else. You can't go to church for somebody else. If you are going to worship, you go on your own. You arrive on your own. But I can't have a bus taking people to come to church that I pay for. So a person must want to come by the sermon. The sermon is what will give you the direction of your own choices. If you go $10 in your pocket or 10 rand, you give it up because he has spoken to that and you have to make your choice. But I've never seen a pastor robbing congregants. They, they part with their money voluntarily. They want to build a new block. The, the same congregants are going to do it. The pastors, they hypnotize the congregation and speak in such a way that is um, that, that puts the whole church on a guilty trip. <laughs> so that's what we are waiting for, Sonia and Mbai. That's what I was saying to Mbai. Who have you convinced to be killed to see the evil in not learning? To see the evil in not having mentorship. Then once you have propagated that, then you can then give. Then come, you know what happens, Mimbai? After that, you see something going around. What do you call that? Uh, Sonia, you know what you call it? Like when you see something going round. No, after you finish your sermon, what is the next thing? It's collection, isn't it? It's what? Collection of money. Oh, yes. The collection. Mm. But can you start collecting before you have uh, hypnotized? to make sure that people are convinced. That's right. Mm? And then collect. <laughs> then start collecting. So that's all I was saying to uh, Bimbai. Uh, don't go out and start asking people to come. If they are not coming, then it means you have to revise your script. Is that correct? Hmm? Mm? True. Different approach of making sure that you people do come. That's right. I just I wouldn't know what this approach is though. That's what we are saying, Sonia. Leave that ad, uh, be a, the best admin, but also be the best communicator of a problem mm -hmm. that we all want to go to heaven, but we don't know if the 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 bus pass. We don't want to die, but we want to go to heaven. That's right. <laughs> we we don't have the ticket and also the the plane to take us there. If there was a plane, you know how many people would pay for that seat. But we don't know. Yeah. So someone has to remind us that you are better off no know, knowing that if you do one, two, three, you are more likely to get a bus pass or a ticket. So that's uh so any questions, Sonia? Um so will this group be on WhatsApp? Like um now you are asking God what do you want it to be as an admin? Well, we should have like a WhatsApp group, that's for Not, sure. So I am going to be the change that I'm going to set up. What what will be the name of that group? You mm. are now the, the admin now. <laughs> what will be the name of that group? I love to think of a name. A catchy, interesting name. No, as long as Sonia is there, that's the interest. Why do you have to think of things you don't know? So let's ask him, we already have a, a group. 
called the skills excellence. Oh, skills excellence, okay. That we are, we are in pursuit of excellence. Mm -hmm. We are uh, in search of excellence. And we oh, want uh, every profession to have people who are proud to be professionals. Mm, okay. So do you also have this group on Facebook? No, that's where you come in to say, I want to be part of that group where Mr. Bukut is there. And I want to be the change after this. I've been provoked to be part of this conversation. But I'm more interested in getting the courses uh, to provide a bridge between those who want to be excellent and those who want to be mediocre or be bad professionals. So I am Sonia, talk to me. But don't talk to me about how to change the world. Just talk to me about be, becoming one of us. Whether you're on the supply side or when the, whether you're on the demand side, we need each other. But the admin is the bridge. Okay. And I need to tell people on Facebook, what is this all about? And uh, to me, uh, you remember, that's why I was saying to you, by, if I ask you what is a doctor, just talk about what you think a doctor is to you. Mm. And we end there. Then we can then ask the questions. When we ask the questions, you discover that what you think is a doctor is not a doctor. It's just a human being wearing a mask called doctor. And the more you practice, the more you learn, the more patience you have, the best you can become as a doctor. True. Yeah. And the, the more you are good, the more other people will come. The more flies will come to you. And you'll be overbooked when your neighbor is not booked. Some will come to eat at your restaurant and others will not come. Yeah, so for the same food you buy in the supermarket and the butcher, the same meat, it depends on who handles the meat. Uh, yeah. So there are many good people who, are, who can do the best, but nobody knows about them. Uh, so I want to be visible with Sonia. Uh, you, you want to be out there to say, guys, uh, uh, I got uh, 30, 11 days to get to the end of the month. I need to have a, a, a workshop, two-day workshop. on journal What is a journalist? I want to understand. That's a course I'm going to give under my journalism course. The first, the first workshop is what is a journalist? Yeah. Let's get there and go deeper on what is a journalist. Yeah. Uh, would you want to be part of that? Yes, I'd love to be a part of that. And then you can then answer and say, I got a course that will help you become the ideal of what a journalist should be. The idea is to be a professional and earn a living. Uh, but Right now, there are people who are every day tweeting, Facebooking, and everything they're doing is undermining my future. Mm. So when we sit down and say, who is the journalist here? Everybody looks and says, I am also a journalist. Everyone is a journalist. So how are you going to know which one? when the people who are qualified behave as if they are not qualified. And people who are not qualified behave, behave as if they are qualified. Um, yeah. Okay. Great. So that's the...
So anything else? Uh, Rimbai, Rimbai seems to have disappeared. She's moot, muted. Yeah. I'm here. I'm here. Hey, so why are you quiet? Uh, have you been, have, have you been uh, threatened or what? No, 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 no. I was listening and besides this young man was, was, was screaming at me. Ah, okay. You know, so, so, yeah, but he's fine. He's fine. So what, uh, what are your final words? Uh, it has been a pleasure meeting you, Sonia. And you know, like uh, I take these opportunities a day to learn, and uh, I'm learning every day. And we would love, or I would love to work with you as well in these programs to say yes. They um, they there is no way of knowing who is who in the soup, like Mr. Mawero always say. But we can start somewhere and make the best out of this starting with the communication that now that we know you exist and i exist we take you to the next level amen um yeah thank you for thinking of amadi and uh yeah and here i am now meeting all these interesting people and i yeah i look forward to this endeavor i think it should be interesting it should keep me on my toes and keep me thinking because lately I mean, we really haven't been working. <laughs> you know, we've just been been existing, you know. <laughs> so, yeah, I hope we do things together. Mm. This time I wear the end you, uh, madam. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so I guess we'll talk more on the group. I understand uh, Mr. Tamawara will be creating one or there's one that already exists? Yeah. So that's a, uh, I will add you to the group, but uh, what Mimba is saying, is saying, do you want to work on mentorship and get people to get uh, some of these short courses and get uh, certified by Amadi, and then you do the ad help with admin as well and uh, the marketing of it so that those who are international or in the continent can know that you exist. So we can uh, do that uh, course where you are uh, just to get fi familiar with the uh, Amadi uh, because uh, Mbai is completely lost. She doesn't even know what you are talking about. You know that. <laughs> do you know what she's talking about when she say Amadi? She will get it also. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's a company. It's a company that is accredited courses. Yeah, that's and, what I picked up when you were saying when you're introducing it. Yeah, but I'm saying is most people will not be aware of who she is, so they already yeah. have courses. They have a university in uh, in Switzerland. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, and what she is saying is, if you want to enhance your knowledge, let's identify the problem, and we'll mm -hmm. be part of the solution. And uh, yeah, and that will yeah. come in form of mentorship. Uh, and if you are a member of C2C, then you are part of the solution. You can get discounted courses because mm -hmm. the more, the merrier. So it means yeah. we can say if the course is 5,000 rand, then you will pay 80% or 90% of that cost because you are a member. But uh, the certification, because we all have this idea that a doctor must be certified and it's good protection to get certificates. But let's make sure that after you get the certificate, you live up to the profession expectation, that you do yeah. actually what a journalist does. Amen. And so that uh, if you are a teacher, do what a teacher does. Yeah. 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 So you, uh, so those who are interested in being part of this conversation to improve standards, and you are listening, you are watching me uh, talk about this, please come forward. Be the change that you want to be. Uh, today you are not seeing who Sonia is, who Mbai is, which is a, a, a mistake on our part. We are going to remedy it to warn Sonia because Sonia was ambushed. She didn't even know, and she still doesn't know what this is all about. 
when Bai was ambushed because she wanted to do something. But instead of talking to her on WhatsApp, she was it was going to cost me more time because I would go back and forth and she's trying to understand what are you saying? Are you saying I must not do something on mentorship? No. What I'm saying to Mbai is behave like a pastor who is fishing from the congregation. Don't fish without a, a what do you call it? Is it a worm? A pet. <laughs> so find the pet. Then the uh -huh. fish will invite themselves to die. Uh -huh. <laughs> um. <laughs> but never yeah. invite the fish to die. Mm -mm. They also want to live. Yeah. Yeah. So that is the. Uh, and then uh, uh, you, uh, on your side, uh, Sonia, are you inspired? Yes, I am. I am. But you are speaking as if you are sick already. You are, you got COVID or what? <laughs> I am. I am inspired. <laughs> no, uh, by are you inspired by? Are you inspired by Sonia? It's uh, yes, uninspiring. Yes, I am. I was going to ask that Sonia, if you have COVID, we now have an immune booster for you that will help you recover quickly. <laughs> yeah, you know, and and it's sure that I won't get it again. <laughs> yeah. So, so I mean, by can you show it? the spirit of see to see how you speak when you are inspired. <laughs> oh, yes, I, I am inspired. And we'll, we'll, be, we'll be taking this to the next level, Sonia, where we say, okay, there is the membership fee of the commitment to say, like, you know, you are really part of this and we are working together with the initial $30 or 700 rand, and then we take the rest of it uh, as we go on. Is that okay for you? No, she's unemployed, yeah. uh, but she's one of the admin that we must raise money to pay so that All right. she can get the... She, first, Sonia, are you willing to be part of administering this? Because we are not administrators. We are not time conscious. We are not uh, programmers. Well, yes, this is my field. This is my... Coffee. <laughs> yeah. So that's the people we need who can keep a uh, watch on us to say, you guys, yeah. uh, let's keep time. Let's uh, let's put the material, let's organize the marketing, let's take the audios and uh, convert them into text, convert them into smaller bits, cut and paste or cut and whatever, so that uh, there is a conversation. So the next time we are going to meet with Sonia. She will be on video, and uh, and uh, uh, Mbai will be on video. So the question is, when are we going to do that? When is Sonia available? Um, usually afternoons are better for me. Yeah, but what time in the afternoon? Because uh, Mbai is also. Like yeah. From two, two and uh, and we buy between two and five. How are you placed? Just to introduce uh -huh. Sonia. Okay, is it today or any other day? You are, you are, um, uh, you know, I'm just saying is that uh, uh, we buy. You get tired of we buy asking questions. If no, no, I'm saying like with me. That's why I'm asking because no, no, just to say I'm from asking. this minute I'm available. Or I'm not available, then we can go to Sonia and finish that than asking others to be the reason why you want to do something. Okay, like today after three, I'll be available. All right. And Sonia? Uh today, today, today. Uh, I think um uh, I can make time this afternoon. 
So can we say four o'clock today, which is three o'clock in Bice time? Um, I, I think it's not gonna work for me. What time will work for you? I think four or five will do. That's what I'm saying. I said four o'clock or five o'clock. We, uh, but okay. Mumbai is one hour behind us. Oh, okay. So what time? So that Mumbai knows. Four o'clock. Mumbai is that fine? Four o'clock. Your time that to be uh, three o'clock. My time. Yeah. All right. So you can send out. You send your pictures so that uh, they can do a flyer. Isn't that what you were saying, that you need visibility, Sonia? Otherwise, you die on your own. Uh, um, true. Okay, we'll do so. All right. Okay, thanks. All right. Let's yes. talk later. All Thank right. you. Thank you.